Today we can see how to do a minimally invasive quadriceps tendon harvesting using a quadriceps tendon harvester. Let's go into the details. Through a small incision in the proximal pole of the patella, you can visualize the quadriceps tendon. Elevate the fat pad using the uh, periosteum elevator. Give a marking in the distal part of the tendon so as to aid in cutting the tendon and then you cut the sides and hold the graft and pass uh, some sutures so that you can get a hold on the graft and then introduce the quadriceps harvester by fine rotary movements and pushing movements you slice through the graft the inside view you can see the apex of the graft and so you can push the quadriceps harvester in the direction of the apex of the graft Make sure that you have a sufficient length of the graft and then after that you can cut the graft with the cutter. So the graft is being harvested, it is taken out and is prepared. You get a very good graft, it is 7.5 centimeters. And again in the inside view you can see that the joint is not breached. But uh, I usually prefer to close the gap between the ends of the tendon. I am using a shoulder lasso to take the bite and shuttle the sutures. So the sutures are being passed and the knots are being put. And it is cut using a knife. The second suture is coming in. So in this case I have uh, put uh, three sutures inside and closing the gap, gap completely and all this is being done with a minimally in a minimally invasive way with a 3 mm uh, incision in the proximal part of the patella. This is the last uh, suture that is coming inside and the knot is being put. So this case uh, was a partial ACL reconstruction because one bundle was intact and so I did a PL reconstruction. So this is the uh, end button going inside and the graft is coming in. You can see the smooth, shiny and beautiful graft and the one bundle is there preserved. This is the bundle coming inside and that's all for today and thank you.